हेलो एवरीवन आई एम राजीव या वेलकम टू फटारोस टीवी फ्रेंड्स लेट्स एक्सप्लोर द वॉक्स मिनी गो 50 हाउ द रिदम मशीन वर्क्स हाउ द इफेक्ट्स कम इनटू प्ले एंड हाउ यू कैन मॉड्यूलेट द साउंड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट लेट्स गो इनटू द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ द एम्प नाउ हियर इज द जैक वेयर यू पुट द गिटार हियर इज द पॉइंट वेयर यू पुट द माइक्रोफोन जैक दिस बटन कंट्रोल्स द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द माइक and this button determines how much effect you want to send into the mic what effect you can select the effects from here it has got two types of delays and two types of reverbs the spring reverb the hall reverb and the digital delay can be controlled by this knob the amount of delay which you want it depends on where you place this knob now let's come into the effects which are very useful for playing the guitar the first is of where i am not getting any effect on now i'm putting a little chorus in that it sounds very rich lush and green so this was the chorus now we go into the phase shifter <laughs> You can control the speed of the phase shift from this knob. To make it a little faster, it gives you a little more faster tremolo. So this was the phase shifter. The next effect is the tremolo effect, which is also useful for many songs. I the famous old tune So this was the tremolo and now we come into the octave which is same as the bass line this will add to a thick sound to my normal octave playing so these are the four effects which can also be used with delay and reverb normally uh, amplifiers have all this on one knob so here if i want the chorus and i want a little delay also that is also possible makes you sound very rich okay so that's as far as the effects are concerned now we come into the drum machine now there is a separate knob for the drum machine this volume control the this volume the main volume of the amp has no control over the drum machine so this balancing you have to do for me i am starting one rhythm now in every pattern there are three variations i can get it from this button now the light will come here and there is a third variation I come back to the first one the there is a tap tempo button available whereby you can control the speed of the rhythm i just tap it and make it slower so in that way there are so many rhythms over here rock metal pop all these which you can get in the user manual they are all different rhythms and with three variations in every rhythm so this is as far as the rhythm is controlled now we come to the main equalizer function of the amp over here you see gain treble bass and volume so if you want heavy distortion you have to increase the gain and then lessen the volume if you want a normal sound then you reduce the gain and increase the volume there's a treble bass connection also along with this there are different amp modulations over here if i go from here this is a deluxe boutique boutique vox 30 vox 10 and vox 30 and from here on till the end they all distortion amplifier sounds so you can choose the one which you like and eq it from here now here there's a very interesting point here when you go 
to the last button over here, which is called the line. This is not actually an amplifier sound, but when you put the knob here, this all these functions are disconnected and these functions come on, whereby you can control the high, mid, low of whatever input you put here. So suppose if you put a mic here, then you can get the EQ of the mic. And suppose if you, you can also, the keyboard sounds best when you put it with these parameters. You plug in the keyboard here, put it on line, and you'll really get like, it'll sound as good as a keyboard amp. So that way this amplifier is a very multifunctional. If you want the guitar, you put on all these. If you want to connect the keyboard, you put it here. And there is one input for the mic. You can also put the mic here and put it on the line and then control the EQ of the mic through high, mid and low. So a uh, really good amp with a lot of features. And in the Vox Mini Go 50, this programming button is also available, which is not on Mini Go 3 and Mini Go 10. Here what happens, you can, suppose you want a chorus effect, then you put it on program number one, where I'll just tap it here. Then you want a phase shifter, which you can do on second. Then you want a distortion, which you can put on three. And then you put it off, it comes back to the normal end sound. So I think a lot of functions, these are the looper controls here, which you can also operate by the foot switch. So normally uh, when you are playing and you want to make a loop, your hands have to be free. That's why the VFS3 switch is very important if you are going to use the looper. And also the switch helps you to change the sound. When you are playing, you can't come here and change from chorus to phaser. So this function is also given on the foot switch, the program button. There are three switches on the VFS. Two works as a looper. One, if, uh, one button helps you change the sound. So all in all, a fantastic amp, lot of permutation combinations. You can use the way you like. Thank you.